Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and every moment when I get to see the garbage truck empty the garbage can is the greatest moment of my life. I love it. Today I got to see out of a different window than I usually do. I got a different perspective, literally. It's fabulous. Uh, that, that, is, that is peak human technology, a fully functioning garbage truck. I love it. So uh, I've used this term chatter a few times. And chatter is the idea that, you know, an intelligence network, they're going to monitor various different means of communication. And literally just more talk, more messages is an indication that something is up. For some reasons is that you're going to try to hide your message within other, you know, innocuous messages. But it's also just kind of like when a storm is rolling in and, you know, like, the pets can sense it, you know, different air pressure, different scents from different crops of fields. And people are kind of keyed up. And it's happening right now. And I'm not sure why. Uh, I have some theories. Uh, so um, I'll just throw out some random, I guess, facts and opinions. <laughs> so uh, my per video views are up lately. But I've been reviewing comics a lot less. Interest in new comics is at an all-time low. Uh, Chuck Dixon was showing these 1967 sales figures, and oh my gosh, it was hundreds of thousands. I think Batman was doing like 800,000, and this was the newsstand. So my basic theory is that SJWs specifically are sensing impending doom. And we're talking very, very close. The other thing they're noticing is all the people that they wanted to kill themselves, all the people they wanted to fade away into obscurity, to be pushed out of every method of earning money, haven't. In fact, we're all kind of fine. So there's um, just kind of more acting crazy. There's a constant bringing up of 2017 and 2018. Uh, people who I would have classified as cranks before are acting like complete lunatics. Uh, some of these people, I haven't seen them, you know, chattering for years and they're back like nothing has happened in between. Like there wasn't a major historical event that's happened for the last year or so. Oh, by the way, getting uh, to my vaccine. Uh, the next day was pretty bad um, and this is two days later and I'm perfectly fine. I'm not really doing that much since I have a bad habit of being sick and the first day I feel well, I go back to doing everything and then, you know, then it kind of extends the sickness. So I feel fine, but I ain't doing anything. I'm just chilling on the couch, answer some emails, do some videos, watch freaking Ethan loves Sopranos. I hate it. And of course I watch one, you know, clip and YouTube decides it's my favorite show ever. So I'm just watching Random characters I don't know get whacked. They freaking shot the waiter because he said the tip was too. I don't. I just wish The Sopranos was actually like a stealth Punisher TV show. And like in season seven, they're like, oh yeah, by the way, this is a Punisher TV show the entire time. We're just giving you a lot of detail on this crime family, and the Punisher's just gonna go in and kill all of them. That would have been freaking great. <laughs> or like that last scene in the diner. You just see Frank Castle, you know, walk into the diner with, what is the main guy's name? Joey, Sop I don't know. Soprano man, Joey, Sop whatever the main character's first name was. You just cut. It's the Punisher just walking in. And you're like, oh, this was a Punisher TV show the entire time. But anyway, getting back to SGWs. The other thing that I really, really noticed is there's a current trend apropos of absolutely nothing to suddenly say how healthy, wealthy, and happy you are. Out of nowhere. Just, I am healthier, happier, and more prosperous than I have ever been. But are you though? Or is this just some super, you know, <laughs> what I should call it cope foo. Uh, but um, yeah, so uh, basically as, as the way I see it, um, they predicted something, which was me, Ethan, John Malin. Oh, th this will just be for one, you know, or two. And they're like, oh, so this is kind of 
as long as you don't piss off your customers, as long as you deliver, as long as you don't get too, you know, arrogant. Oh, all the people I hate are going to consistently make money for years and we can't destroy them. Meanwhile, the thing that I have, you know, an exalted status in uh, is collapsing around me and I don't know what to do about it besides just bring up 2017 endlessly and, oh, hey, I'm super happy. That's weird that you said that. It's just out of nowhere. I'm also wealthy, more money than I've ever had, and I'm healthy. All of a sudden, every SJW is just doing fine while they're also <laughs> acting more insane than they've ever acted. Like I said, people who I just described as assholes are now acting like lunatics. Um, uh, the funny thing is the actual crazies have seemed to move, they moved on from comics because they're like, yeah, we did as actually way more damage than we thought was ever possible. Uh, so we're going to move on to some other thing to destroy. I mean, something that doesn't have to have its heartbeat stopped to be, you know, fatally wounded. They've moved on. They've found other things to hurt. So if you have theories about why the chatter has increased, about why the uh, Cope Fu has uh, gotten its, uh, you know, black belt right now, and uh, why uh, they're... Uh, uh, more angry, but also, I guess, happier than ever, <laughs> they claim. If you have any solid answers, like, is it this, you know, Warner thing? Is What is it? What's your theory? Because I've talked to a few people, and people have noticed the same things I've noticed, but nobody really knows specifically what. It could just be a vague, impending sense of doom. That might be enough. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I want to hear your theories and your uh, point of view on this. And I'm sorry to say you, you didn't see the garbage truck. I did live through me. I'm very happy right now. Happier than I've ever been. Thanks for watching. Bye.